Okay, here's my story on uh, protecting my water from freezing in uh, 17 degree weather here in Arizona. I start out with a uh, all weather fifth wheel by Heartland. Then when I go down here to the water pedestal, I have a meter box covering the water pe pedestal. I'll go down here and open the meter box. Inside the meter box, you'll see with that trouble light, I have a little reptile heater, 50 watts. They come in various sizes. That little 50 watt heater doesn't burn out like a light bulb. And it keeps this vault toasty, toasty warm. Closing up the vault, the water coming out is in, uh, is basically just a 10 foot hose with insulation on it. The idea here is the water in the ground is at, in the, in the water main is at 55 degrees. So when I flush the toilet, run the water, there's 55 degree water in that hose. It takes a long time for that 55 degree water to, thir full, to cool down to 32 degrees. Before that happens, I'm in the bathroom again, running the water, flushing the toilet. So then you might ask, well, what turns that little reptile heater on? Coming over here, we'll go to the electrical pe pedestal. Typically you have three outlets. I've only got two, but I take the 30 amp outlet, convert it to a 20 amp, and that little white box there is a thermal cube. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them in your hardware store. It turns the electricity on at 35 degrees, keeps it on until 45 degrees. And then I just, on the other side, I just plugged in a little LED night light, that's my indicator telling me that the electricity is on to the uh, to the reptile heat lamp. And what do I do inside? Well, for starters, I've got a thermometer fastened to the window that tells me what the temperature is outside. In addition, I have one of those dual wireless thermometers that tell me the temperature inside and the temperature in the basement. Here's the door to the basement. In the, in the basement stays, no matter what, it stays in the 40s even though it gets down to 17 degrees out here. In the basement, I uh, where the hose comes in, I just add a little extra insulation by putting rags around the hose. And then in addition, this metal box that's around the propane tanks goes right into the basement. I put cardboard on the other side of the metal box to give it a little bit of insulation. And like I said, the basement stays at 45 to, for, for, oh, 44 or so degrees, even though it's 17 degrees out here. So here's one last look at the park here. Typical sunny day in Arizona. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it.